got a little bit of dirt. We got this frame done out. A couple of my mundane crops planted. And I think this will be about the size of our greenhouse. At least starting out. Question is. How is the weather going to affect the plants? They seem to be growing. I mean, I do see them growing. And it's just getting this built. We got the uh, greenhouse just about finished. We're just waiting for more dirt. But while it does its thing, oh, I'm getting hungry. I did get some leather from drying out some of the rotten flesh I picked up, hoping to make a canteen so I can drink some clean water for a bit. This dirty water thing's getting old. But we did get this done. And pretty sure this completes the task of making a farm. But I'm thinking we need to get into some power generation while this keeps going. They're spying on me. While this is going, unfortunately I am going to need more leaves. And get some of this stuff moved into the house. This thing keeps breaking. I'm wondering if there's a better... I could probably put lava in the house, but I, I'm too worried I'm going to burn it down. But we definitely got to move this stuff into the house. But yes, power. We have to get power generator. And I'm pretty sure... Ender IO might be a good start. with the sterling generator. Question is redstone, which means I have to do a lot more sieving. But we can get the canteen done. I think it works with coal. I think I actually use charcoal. But that'll keep the house nice and warm. And paper, paper. one of those out there. One more piece of coal. Come on. Thank you. At least it makes more than one filter. And then just put this in with the filter. And there we go. We got clean water again. Ah, that's nice. Now, back onto that sterling generator, which means we need iron. Which means we are going to have to sieve way more. Oh my god, how much do we have to sieve? Well, I got none. I got none. Alright, we're just going to take that out for now. We're done seeding dirt for now. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to see a load of gravel and get myself some iron and we'll get this built. And I got to find out how to get redstone, which is an iron mesh. 
this iron against flint. And I will get that made for one of these just to get some redstone and get that sterling generator up. And I will convert all of these to iron sieves. And then I will be back. Because, uh, this is gonna. Oh, no, actually, it might not take that long because I got six right here. Um, should just leave a crafting bench out here. Glitchy. There, that'll work. Now, what was it I had to see for redstone? Dust. We have dust. And I just gotta see this until I get redstone. Come on. Give me something. No, I didn't want blaze powder. There we go. Now, we can get the sterling generator going once we get one more piece of iron. Yeah, we have a sterling generator now. <laughs> so we'll set this up in the house. Uh, maybe up here. This, this could be a bigger area to work with. So it burns items to make energy. Okay. And I don't have the automated sieve set up yet. It should be auto. Yes, auto hammer, auto sieve. A lot of iron. A lot of iron. And diamonds. Alright, it looks like I am going to convert all this over and get a lot of iron. So yes, I will definitely be back. Once things want to pick up. There you go. And I'll see you guys in a few when I get this all converted over. And we did it, guys. We made the auto siever. Put one of the iron meshes in here and powered it up with the generator. So this little guy is going to start sieving for us. Yes, sieve. Sieve away. And getting our, our materials. Although I kind of do feel like he's a lot slower than us doing it. <laughs> And he takes a lot of RF. He takes 20 per tick. More, actually. See, he's kind of chugging. So we obviously need to work on our power output. So we'll probably give him a little bit less work to do. Eh, there. You, you work on that. And I... Did get them all changed over to iron. So at least that's done, and I got some diamonds. I made the diamond hammer. So that can be crossed off our list. Technically, it is automated. It's just a very automated, very well. And I'm guessing they want all three automated: gravel, sand, and dust. Was there no automated sieving? And I looked for a compressed hammer, but... This was all I could find. It's a double compressed. And there's no recipe for it. So I'm not sure if that is a bug. Combine with blasting for best results. That sounds dangerous. It 
Yes, now what can we do? We need to make a watering can. Ideally, these ones are the best, so let's try for one of these. Uh, do I have enough iron? No. There we go, we have a watering can. So that is off the list. Uh, where did I put my filters? I really, really have to get my inventory sorted. I am losing stuff so fast. That is unfiltered. And it's still making me nauseous even though it's unfiltered. So does it matter? Should I bother making those anymore? Kind of wondering if there's anything coal can be used for. Graphite, which makes housings, which makes reactors. Ooh, we could have made a reactor. That might snout the snow. Maybe a little bit of radiation. Also lost my supper. Or I just ate all my supper. It's alright, we grew a bit of wheat. We can have some bread. Not much, but it's a step up. Reminds me, I should check on my apple tree. And I will automate you for lava at some point. We're losing our light. Yeah, we got a few apples. We won't right out starve. Greenhouse. Did it? It didn't even give me my carrot. Back in, get some sleep. We're not quite at the area where we need to start killing moss materials, so let's not blow up anything that we don't need to yet. Carrots really don't want to grow. There we go. Worked it for two whole carrots. Oh yeah. Actually, I can compost some of this, can't I? Probably not a great idea to start composting my food, but desperate times call for desperate measures. And I'm pretty sure there is some Pam's in here. Yeah, there's Pam's Harvest Craft in here. And we are most likely going to have to make a stall to buy them from. The shopping bin is most likely. 
oh, we can actually do this, can't we? Can we make the market? We can. We can totally make the market because I'm pretty sure I pulled up an emerald. I did. Wool. Wool, wool, wool. Uh -huh, we have a market. Now we can buy produce. Kind of feeling like this would be in my greenhouse. There. Yes, now we can buy the products that we need for our greenhouse. Uh, stop getting wedged in stuff. There we go. So now we can grow all sorts of Pam's food. I don't think a well is going to be too important right now. I might put one in my house just to have some indoor plumbing. I haven't done a whole lot over here. Although I can see me going out that door a lot to try to get to my greenhouse. Instead of this one. Alright, what else can we do? We gotta get more. We gotta get worms and dirt. I did prep some tinkers. Solar panels. Generators. Ooh, we could do an automated magma gen. That would work because we can automate cobble, which would automate lava, which would automate the mag magmatic lava generator. So that right there would be a really good source of power. The water mill might be a little bit hard on the outside. Ooh, we could turn our house into a water mill though. Because we do have that big wall over here that doesn't quite blend in. And we could totally take these windows out, do a water gen running into that pond from a water mill, and kind of put a little separator here to keep the water from freezing. So that is totally a good idea as well. Let, start collecting cyber components. No, thank you. A research scanner with cyber. Remove your eyes. Ooh. Remove your legs and arms. Ow! Place your body with cybernetic parts. Owie! Fix unwanted issues such as hunger, thirst, and temperature. That I like. This I don't. This sounds painful. Create a storage drawer. I did do that. I could probably do a storage crate. Upgrade your group grid into a crafting grid. First raw carbon. Install a heating unit. What is a heating unit? This mod I don't know anything about. Oh, it's extra utilities, maybe. Use RF energy stored in a wireless batteries to create heat. Uh, am I going to start cooking myself again? Make a temperature regulator.
Uh -huh. There we go. Temperature. <coughs> Sorry. Keeps players temperature at optimal level requires RF to function. Can be used in any Babel slot. <laughs> we could charge this with RF and never have to worry. Oi. Oi. I can see this being a process in itself. Oh yes. A much big process. That is definitely not first tier stuff. What else can we do? Alexins. First spell. Collect all the Arc Magia boss drops. There's bosses in here. Kill all the bosses in Arc Medical. Wither. Winter Guardian has spawner egg. Create your first CAD. Craft a CAD assembler. Do it for the vine. Obtain old root. Didn't I obtain an old root? Yes. Okay, so this tells me what I'm going into this. Ruin it, timer. Make a wolf knife, bark knife. Some martyr dust. You can create your first spell and staff. Okay, so this is kind of like Druidic. With guardians, yeah, it's definitely like a Druidic. Snow off area. Welcome to snow off area where you've already got enough stuff, but let's overkill it. Am I right? <laughs> Overreacting. Void quarries. And glory. Dimensional shifts. Silerists. There is definitely quite a few things in here. And a lot of them I do not know. That's alright. We're going to learn together. No. A is not working. That's commands. Integration. Ah, uh, if only it was that easy. We used to just press a button, it would just show up on the side. If you guys know what that button is, tell me, because it's not A. This is 1.10, so... We're doing it the long and hard way. This should. There we go. Grass. We have grass. Kind of wonder if the watering can works on grass. Probably not. Oh, it does. A little bit. Ah! We can make grass grow instantly. Nice. That's right. I'm turning the world green like you. This is not going to be anything beautiful. Because all I care about right now is water that's not melted. Or, not frozen at least. We have a little watering hole that will stay that way. Oh yes, we gotta get worms too. And the only way to get worms is by doing this to our dirt. And they will randomly pop up. Which, there, we got one. That's my house, not your house, Enderman. Don't you be getting any bright ideas. Worms. 9 by 9 patch. By the time I get this done, it'll be a 9 by 9 patch. Ah, 
All right, compressing hammer. We couldn't find that one unless they mean the diamond one, which is double compressed. We should probably do the auto hammer. Which is a lot more iron, which means we need to do more sieving. Oh, we should check on our little guy upstairs, actually, now that I think about it. When we get a name tag, we'll change him up. Who knows who he'll be, but he won't be Steve. Uh, I'm not impressed. I'm not. Alright. Well, everything I gotta do, I may as well do off camera right now because it's a lot of sieving and getting enough dirt. Is there anything on here that we can do? Some sort of cru crusher. Do we have, what kind of crushers do we have in here? Extra utilities crusher. I have a feeling it doesn't do. <laughs> oh, it does. Well, it does the copper, but it doesn't seem to do the iron. Or did I pass it? Plants, yes. Iron. Okay, so Extra Utilities has a crusher. It doesn't say that it needs redstone. So we will probably get this done. I will probably put drawer storage unit over here right now so that I have less running to the house to do, or the igloo, the dugout igloo to do. And uh, we will be back.